Hello and welcome. Please pause the video, read the problem, and try it on your own. Let's read this problem together. Uh, we've got a problem with box and whisker plots. That's these things right here. And we're told that Corrine is planning a beach vacation in July and is analyzing the daily high temperatures. So I know that we're looking at high temperatures here. That's what we're looking at uh, for her potential destination. She would like to choose a destination uh, with, a, with a high median temperature and a small interquartile range. So median, right, is the halfway point of your data. If you sort them in order, it's the middle data point. If there's no data point exactly in the middle, it's the average of the two data points closest to the middle. So if we had temperatures of 70, 80, and 90 here, 80 is the median. But if we had 70, 80, 90, and 100, these two numbers are closest to the middle. So we average them, and the median would be 85, right? Basically 80 plus 90 divided by 2. And a small interquartile range. Interquartile range, usually I write IQR for interquartile range, um, represents the third quartile subtract uh, minus excuse me, the first quartile. Um, so for example, if we have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6, and 7. So 4 is the median. We call it Q2. So in our cases before, the median is just Q2, the second quartile. The first quartile is the median of this first group of data, right? So here, that means that the middle value of the first group of data is 2. That's the first quartile. And then 6 is the median of this other group, the second half of the data, Q3. And the quartile into quartile range is Q3 minus Q1, or in this case, 6 minus 2. That's where most of your data lives, right? 6 minus 2. This, this gives you a good chunk of your data. So here in this problem, uh, we're looking at these four situations and we're asked which has a median temperature above 80 degrees and the smallest interquartile range. It's nice about the box and whisker plot. If you think about it, this line in the middle here, right, that's always Q2. This line here is Q3 and this line is Q1. So what you're seeing in this box is the difference between Q3 and Q1. In other words, this box is the size of the interquartile range. So the smallest interquartile range um, is certainly not Whispering Palms, right? Look at this Whispering Palms rectangle, it's huge. So it's, right, that's a huge interquartile range. Ocean Beach is also larger than Serene Shores and Pelican Beach. It's a little bit harder to tell here, right, which one... Um, has a smaller interquartile range, but also notice they want the median temperature above 80 degrees. That's Pelican Beach because this is Q2, the median, and that's above 80, whereas Serene Shores, the median, is below 80. So we want to pick Pelican Beach. All right, hope this helped.